Hey everybody, welcome back to Deadman DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list today. As always, we're going to go over every new kanji we see in these words by writing it down 10 times, going over its readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on its radicals. And if we see a new word, but it's related to kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meanings of the two kanji and how they come together to make our new word. If you don't want to listen to me, uh, repeat the word over and over while I write them down, which is going to happen a lot today. We've got eight new kanji, which is kind of unheard of today. Um, head on over to YouTube and you can skip around and just listen to the kanji explanations if you want. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. Our first word of the day is asari. Asari is easily, readily, or quickly. Lightly, plainly, or simply. Asari. Light, plain, or easy. Asari is light, plain, or easy. Asari. Asari. Light, plain, or easy. Number two is uh, our first new kaji of the day with chitsu jo. Chitsu on the left side, meaning regularity, salary, or ordery. Salary? Or order. Chitsu is the way it's pronounced with the radicals for a two branch tree on the left side, and on the right side we have a loss, error, or fault. So a fault in a two branch tree is regularity, salary, or order. Regularity or order. Chitsu jo. Chitsu. A two branch tree's fault is regularity or order. How about a two-branch tree falls and is lost to the regularity of axe strokes? Uh, that's the best I can do. <clears throat> so regularity, or order, plus jo on the right side, which is a preface or a preface or a beginning to something. So a regular preface or beginning to something means order, discipline, regularity, or system. I'm going to try and remember this word by thinking that you start... Um, like anything, like an exercise program or a study program, you start that by adding order at the beginning, giving it some order or discipline. Chitsu jo is order or discipline, and chitsu is our new kanji with the loss, error, or fault of a two branch tree is in the regular strokes of an axe. Chitsu jo no chitsu. Regularity. Order or salary. Chitsu jo no chitsu is regularity or order. Chitsu jo. Chitsu jo no chitsu. The fault of the two branch tree is in the regular. Orderly strokes of an axe. Chitsu. Chitsu des. Chitsu. Chitsu jo with the beginning, meaning you start a program or a method of doing something with some order. Chitsu jo is order or regularity. Number three is kai kyo. Kai on the left side for ocean or sea, and kyo on the right side for a gorge or ravine in it, meaning a channel or a strait, kind of a connector between two bodies of water. Other ways to pronounce this kanji are hazama or cho. In this case, it's pronounced kyo. I'm not sure why they. Um, of deviated from the normal onyomi. Oh, no, it's because I wrote it down wrong. Yep, this is kyo. Kyo, or hazama, is a gorge or a ravine with the radicals for a mountain on the left side. And the right side of this kanji is the right side of a, is the right side of the kanji for semai. Uh, but that's written with a claw. But in this case, I'm thinking of kind of a thin space between mountains as a gorge or ravine. 
So I'm kind of using another kanji, and it's not really what the radical means, but that's going to be how I kind of remember it. The thin space, semi space between mountains. Hazama or kyo is a gorge or a ravine. Hazama or kyo is a gorge or 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 ravine, a thin space between mountains and a kaikyo is a gorge or ravine in the ocean which forms a channel or strait. Kaikyo is a strait or a channel between two bodies of water. Number four is ikan. I on the left side meaning bequeathing, leaving behind, or reserving. Plus kan on the right side is our new kanji for remorse, regret, or to be sorry. So leaving behind or bequeathing some regret means it was regrettable, unsatisfactory, deplorable, or lamentable. This is an adjective. Ikan is, an, is a not adjective, which really means it's kind of a noun, but we won't get into that. I on the left side is our first word for nokosu, to leave behind. I or yui with the radicals for the center one. Of a, con of a shell, and then there's some movement attached to this. So in the center of a shell is usually some kind of animal, right? And when that is getting given to, being given to someone, I, I'm thinking of, um, you know, the Japanese are very seafaring people and diving for shells was is kind of a, a historically well-known pastime to get food. So if you get a shell and inside you, there's, in the middle of the shell, there's something to be left behind to someone else. So this is the movement radical on the underside, meaning that it's being moved to someone else. This is the bequeathing act. You got something in the center of the shell, some kind of treasure or something left behind that you're giving to someone else and bequeathing it. No kosu, i or yui, is to bequeath or leave behind. No kosu i or yui is to bequeath or leave behind. No kosu i or yui is to bequeath or leave behind. No kosu i or yui is to leave behind. No kosu i or yui is to leave behind or bequeath. I on the left side of ikan plus kan on the right side of this word is uramu, which is to regret something. Kan is our alternate pronunciation, meaning remorse, regret, or to be sorry, with the radicals for a heart on the left side and to feel kan on the right side. This entire thing is the kanji for feeling. So if you feel it in your heart, you are remorseful or regretting it. I know that's a fairly vague way to say it, but a lot of the kanji that have to do with regret and remorse have this heart kanji on the left side. Hmm. Sorry, I have this heart radical on the left side. So kan or uramu is to regret or be sorry about. Kan hokani uramu is to regret or be sorry. Ikan no kan is to regret or be sorry. Ikan no Kan is to regret or be sorry. I 
間の間。To regret or be sorry. いかんの間。Is to regret or be sorry. 他に恨む。Is our verb for regretting. Ikan no kan. Plus i, we have ikan, which is a regrettable, deplorable, unsatisfactory, or lamentable thing. It's a na adjective. Ikan is regrettable. Number five, we have sei i. E、on the right side is an idea or kind of a will to do something. And on the left side, we have se, which is our new kanji for sincerity or truth, with the radicals for talking or speaking on the left side and becoming on the right side. Makoto or se is the way to pronounce this. The way I'm trying to remember this is、um, With a sincere person, if you are a sincere person, your words become actions. A sincere person has their words become actions. Makoto or se. A sincere or truthful person has their words become actions. Makoto or se. Is sincerity or truth? Makoto. Or say. Makoto or say. Is sincerity or truth? Makoto o k a n i say. Say e no say. So say e is a sincere idea or a sincere、um, idea, kind of. I, I, a sincere idea, a sincere, it could be like a sincere person, kind of a mind or a heart. Sincere thought. Say e is sincerity. Say e with serious will. I like that the best. Say e having a serious will about something. Sincerity or faith. Say e no say. Hokani makoto is sincerity or truth. Say no say. Is sincerity or truth plus e on the right side for will. A sincere will or idea is sincerity or good faith. Say. Number six is haiku. Finally, back to a kanji we know, or back to a word we know the kanji for. On the left side, we have the kanji for to distribute, and on the right side, we have q, which is to supply. So, a distribution and supply of something is its distribution, its rationing or food ration. Haiku. To distribute and supply to. Haiku. Is to distribute and supply to. IQ can also mean food rationing. IQ is distribution or rationing. IQ is distribution or rationing. If you're asking if this is the same haiku、uh, that's the word for the anime haiku, I'm not sure. You'll have to find that out on your own. I don't specifically watch haiku. Haiku is distribution or rationing. Haiku. Number seven is honki. Hon on the left side for true. And ki on the right side for energy or spirit. If you have a true energy or, or spirit, you are serious, earnest, or truthful about something. Honki is coming kind of seriously or truthfully. Honki is sincere, seriousness, earnestness, or truth is a noun. Honki. Honki de. Honki. 
seriousness, earnestness, or truth. This is another one of those not adjectives that is really probably a noun, but it, they're calling it a not adjective, so it's usually used in a descriptive way. Honki ni. Honki no. It is probably honki na. It's a not adjective, so honki na. Hito, honki na hito is a serious person or an earnest person. Number eight is fukaketsu. Fu on the left side for not or un. Ka in the center for can or to be possible. And ketsu on the right side for a mistake or a blunder, a, a, a chink in the armor, a lack or a gap. So fukaketsu means it cannot, it is not possible to be a gap. If it is not possible to be a gap, it is indispensable or essential. You cannot fail at this thing. Fukaketsu is not possible to be a gap. Fukaketsu. 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 Is indispensable or essential. It cannot be a gap. Fukaketsu. Fukaketsu. It cannot be a gap. It is essential. Fukaketsu. Fukaketsu. Number nine is yukan. Yu on the left side for bravery, and kan on the right side is our new kanji for daring. So daring bravery is heroic, gallant, or brave. Aete, or kan, are the two ways to pronounce this new kanji. With the left side, we have a single above an ear. It's really an ear on this left side, and on the right side, we have to hit, um, the radical for to hit. So if, you're, if your ears might get hit, in the attempt of something, then you are daring. If you've ever been hit in the air, it's not a pleasant experience. Aete or kan is daring. Aete or kan is daring. Aete or kan is Yukan no kan. To do something where your ears might get beaten is daring. Yukan no kan. Together with you, we have bra daring, brave, or gallant. Yukan is daring, brave, or gallant. Yukan. Number 10, we have oyobu with our new kanji, or sorry, with an old kanji, meaning to reach out to exert exercise or cause something. Oyobu is our trans intransitive verb for to reach, amount to, happen to, or to be up to some task, to compare with something. To reach or amount to is the part that we're going to remember for now. I don't know that I know how to put it into to be up to the task or compare with yet. To reach to or amount to or to happen to. Oyobu. Oyobu. Oyobu is to reach, amount to, or happen to. Oyobu. Oyobu. Let's read a kanji with this, or er, sentence with this word. Sono jishin de kohan ni oyobu higai ga deta. Sono jishin de kohan ni ni oyobu hikai ga deta. Sono jishin, in that article, de kohan ni, it's widespread, extensive, yep. Kohan ni, sono jishin de kohan ni ni oyobu hikai ga deta. In that article, widespread damage was caused or was reached or uh to befall is another to happen to or to happen to or to be befell a a large area in the earthquake large losses befell a wide area the earthquake caused widespread damage so no jishin de 
公判人に及ぶ被害が出た。及ぶ、to happen to。Oyobu to happen to. I, I'm going to focus on that one to remember because I'm not going to remember the other ones. Oyobu is to happen to or to befall. Oyobu is to happen to or befall. Oyobu. Number 11 is Jo Sho. Jo on the left side for above and Sho on the right side. For to rise up. Jo on the left side can also be used in the kanji for rising themselves. So this is kind of two kanji that means to raise and rise up. Jo sho is rising, ascending, or climbing. Sho is our new kanji, hokani noboru, which is to climb up, with our radicals for to measure underneath the sun. And I'm sure this happened a lot. Back in the old days when, like, you didn't really have clocks, so you kind of had to measure what time it was based on, you know, how far the sun had risen up over, over the earth. So, this is you're measuring the amount that the sun has risen up. Noboru or sho is to rise up. Noboru or sho is to rise up. Rising, ascending, or climbing is a noun. Rising, ascending, or climbing. Rising, ascending, or climbing. Rising, ascending, or climbing. Noboru or sho. Together with jo, we have jo sho. To rise, a rising up of something. This is a noun. Jo sho. Jo sho is rising up. A right, an instance of rising up. It's a noun. Jo sho. And finally, number 12, we have tsukusu. Tsukusu is to exhaust, to run out of something. It can also be to devote or serve something or to do to exhaustion. I'm going to remember this first part now. I'm not going to remember to devote or to serve to tsukusu. I guess if you're devoted to someone, you are exhausting yourself on that thing. Yeah, that might work. Alternate ways to pronounce this kanji are jin, to exhaust, use up, run out of, or deplete. Jin or tsukusu is to deplete or to do to exhaustion. Tsukusu. There's kind of a door radical on the left side here.、Um, this first part is the first part of hiru.、Um, I guess you could think a box. I'm, I'm looking at this pictographically now. So, this is a box who's been turned upside down and its contents are dropping out. It's being used up, run out of, or depleted. Almost like a dropper in a mechanism. It's being exhausted, used up, or depleted. Jin or tsukusu is to exhaust, deplete, or run out of. Tsukusu is to exhaust, deplete, Or run out of tsukusu or jin. Tsukusu or jin is to exhaust, run out of, or deplete. Tsukusu or jin is to exhaust. Run out of or deplete. Tsukusu. Tsukusu. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we've got all these banged into my head, at least for the time being. Make sure you're making flashcards and going back and studying these on your own time and in your own way. If you want to immerse yourself, make some sentences out of these bad boys, that's a good idea. The best way to make flashcards is to put these words in sentences. That's the best way to get the 
the meaning out and to kind of remember it. So when you're making flashcards of these, be sure you're putting them in sentences. Our first word of the day was readily, quickly, or lightly. Asari? Asai. Asari. Is lightly or plainly? Asari. Next we had order, discipline, regularity, or system with chitsujo. Chitsu on the left side with our two branch tree whose downfall or loss is the regularity or order of axe strokes, chitsu, plus jō on the right side, for you start a process with some order. Chitsu jō. Chitsu jō is regularity, order, or discipline. Chitsu jō. A channel or a straight is a kai kyō. Kai kyō. Hai, kai kyō. Kai on the left side for an ocean. And kill on the right side with our mountain having a thin space between them for the gorge. Kai kyo is a ocean gorge between two um, pieces of water. Kai kyo hai. Next we have regrettable, unsatisfactory, deplorable, or lamentable with ikan leaving behind e some regrets. Ikan. Econ is regrettable or deplorable. Next we have sincerity or good faith with say. Speaking, becoming actions plus e for thoughts, ideas, or will. Say is sincerity or good faith. Distribution rationing or food ration is high Q. Hai on the left side for distributing, and Q on the right side for supplying. Hai Q. Seriousness, earnestness, truth, or sanctity. Uh oh. See. Sincerity or good faith versus seriousness, earnestness, truth, and sanctity. Uh oh. Sincerity or good faith. This is probably say -y. Yeah. Okay. Don't look at the bottom one. Don't look at the bottom yet. Okay. Seriousness. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> the second one. Seriousness, earnestness, truth, or sanctity. Right. Honki. Hon on the left side for true plus ki. Honki. Honki na. These are both na adjectives, I'm pretty sure. No. Sincerity or good faith. Say the first one was a noun. And honky is our not adjective. Honky. Honky is not a thing. Say is a good thing with sincerity. Got it. Honky. Next we have indispensable or essential with fukaketsu. Fu on the left side for not. Ka in the center for possible. And ketsu on the right side. Or to be a gap, a gap. Not possible to be a gap. We have brave, heroic, or gallant with you, Khan. You on the right side for brave, plus Khan on the right side. If something is possible where your ears could get battered in it, then you are, it is a daring thing. You, Khan, is brave and daring or gallant. To reach to, to amount to, to happen to, or to befall is oyobu. Oyobu. Rising, ascending, or climbing was jōshō. Jō on the left side for rising above, and shō on the right side for rise up. Like the measurement of the sun, jōshō. And finally, to exhaust, to run out, or to deplete is tsukusu with our upside down box letting out its contents tsukusu thanks for watching today everybody i hope you had a good friday and i hope saturday is even better thanks for watching domo arigatou gozaimashita